Hello, 大家好 After the pork fat, now I'll show you how to make、um, dumpling. Use the chili oil I made early. I actually used a bit, so but still have a lot left. So I thought、hmm, I will make a, a dump wonton, or you call it dumplings, in chili oil. It's a local dish from Chashuan Province. It's kind of famous too. Okay. You can use chicken, but here I use pig flesh, which is、uh, about half、uh, pork and half beef.、Um, I will use about a hundred gram. Not making too much this time. Hundred gram to less. Hmm, a hundred fifty is okay. I think that's about enough. Hundred fifty, and、uh, before that, I cut some celery. You can choose not to put celery in, but I think it's a good combination、uh, with、um, pork and beef. In China, people very often use different veggie, but here because I can't get those, so I use celery. And we will need one egg. Just put a whole egg in. And. A bit of ginger, garlic, and spring onion. It's about one、uh, tablespoon. I chopped those earlier. These are the、uh, solid ingredients. Okay. Now we can add the rest. We will need we will need、uh, soy sauce. There are two different kind of soy sauce in China. One is light, one is dark. And、uh, light is for cooking, and dark usually is for the color. And、uh, here I put in one tablespoon. And、um, next, a bit of、um, oyster sauce, just to give it a, a different flavor. Okay. How about a tablespoon? Okay. Then we will need. This、uh, Chi Chinese.、Liquor. This is used very often in Chinese cooking. It's only for cooking. Okay. I think I,、uh, one ta tablespoon. Oh, two. Then we will need、um, salt and pepper. Salt, just regular salt, but this pepper is、um, white grinded. Pepper. You can get it from an Indian supermarket or Asian supermarket. See this kind of powderish pepper. It has a really strong flavor too. Because we already put in、um, lots of soy sauce. So we don't need、um, too much salt here. Just,、uh, in, in one direction. It's really important to the meat. Gets 
uh, stick quickly. Okay, let's smell it. You can pretty much can smell it if it's um, properly seasoned or not. I think I will add one more um, tablespoon of soy sauce. Bit of uh, uh, sesame oil. This is also just for the flavor. Don't really need a lot. the pork fat a lot and uh, I'm going to use these in my wonton too and um, if you don't have those you don't have to put it in I just like the flavor okay the quantity it's really depends on you use your knife to crush them they're really crispy like chips so when you make those in the wonton or dumplings, uh, it gives, gives you a, a crunchy um, texture too. why I don't really know and um, my mom saying just make things better it also balance the saltiness in Chinese food because all the salt and the, all the salt and soy sauce um, you really need a bit of sweetness to balance it okay it's mm, I think it's good now here's everything now let's make the wonton. Now we're making this wontons by using this pre-made wonton skins. Mm, there are two different kinds. This is for a wonton soup. There's also one in the supermarket. It's for deep fried. So two different kinds of skins. Here we use um, for soup. I think the difference between a wonton skin and the dumpling skin is the wonton skin is thinner and then it's square. And see, it's really thin. And uh, yeah, we're using this to make our wonton. We're making, there are two different kind of wonton in China. One is called the big wonton, one is small, and here we use uh, make, we are making big wonton and we take about one teaspoon Don't make it too big otherwise it will break and uh, Here there are for, uh, really Many different ways to make wonton and uh, I'm doing the one my mom's making and uh, I'm from 
southeast part of China. Okay, we need a bit of water. So it seals better. Mm. Here you have it. I'll show you again. We take uh, one teaspoon. Smaller is okay, just not too big. And we put a bit water from one edge. We fold it about oh, two third, and we give a bit water to the other side and fold it back down. And we will need a bit water from the edge here. And just close it and you press it. Not another one. Make it flat. Water. Fold one third. The water. Fold the other one third. Here, the water on the edge, and close it. Here you have it. And uh, there's also other ways. I'll make other way, just to show you. how it looks like mm. so compare these two I think mine looks a bit better mm. so and they close better because it's folded into layer of the skin there's also another way Pretty ugly mm, so I, I still making my way <laughs> okay now we do a quick push. we made about 25 wonton but you could make more I just left the fillings for later I think could make about 450 um, wontons and you can um, definitely make them all and put in the freezer and use later and here we'll show you how to how to cook them so turn our stove on Let's cook the water, um, boil, and then put our dumpling in. But before that, uh, we will need some ingredients for the soup base, which is very important to here. We use um, chili sauce. Um, you can also buy pre-made one. Here I use my self-made chili sauce. And uh, we will also need some garlic um, and then a bit of soy sauce the same kind of soy sauce I think half yeah, one, one tablespoon um, now our water is cooked just Put our wonton straight in the water because we have a small pot. Don't put too many because it will stick. Okay. 
it doesn't take for very long. I think uh, two to five minutes. Um, once they are floating uh, in the water, means they are cooked. Okay, I think our wonton is cooked. Just leave this for now, and we continue with our soup. Um, here we have the garlic and the soy sauce, and we will also need a bit um, rice vinegar. Um, it has a really strong flavor. Uh, give the soup base a bit savory taste. Not too much. I think a half tablespoon. And then we will also need a bit of uh, brown sugar. I used this for um, in my previous video for uh, ginger tea. Here we use this instead of normal regular uh, sugar, sugar because of the color. Here is our brown sugar. Not too much. I think one teaspoon. And then our chili oil. See, it has a lot of um, peanuts and chili in it. We mix it first to give us a good mixture. Also take about um, half a teaspoon. One teaspoon or half a teaspoon depends on how spicy you want. And this is a really, really spicy sauce. So you have to be careful. Um, now here is pretty much everything we need and then if you have lard you can also put in a bit lard and here I just use hot boiled water to dilute it. Okay. They are all floating in the water so they are pretty much already cooked. Now I can take them out, put in our soup base. Let's just do eight dumplings for the number. And now we will put in a bit of uh, spring onion just to decorate it and uh, here a bit of uh, Chinese pickle you can buy this also in the Chinese supermarket it's salty so try not to put too many but they have a really strong flavor and saltiness and a bit spiciness in it too um, and last and give it a bit of um, sesame oil. If you like, you can also put in a bit of um, white um, uh, pepper, white pepper. Mm. Uh, Chinese like to put it in soup, or you can just save it. It's up to you. Now you have it my wonton in self-made red chili oil hope you like it thanks for watching my video now let's test our wonton mix with a bit of the sauce I really like the celery in the filling. It just tastes much better than um, those pure meat dumplings. Hope you like it. <laughs>